Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have some really fun fall DIYs planned. I've been slowly rolling out the fall decor and that means getting a jump start on a lot of fun DIYs and trying some new things this year. Make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss any of the fun fall content I have planned. It's gonna be a fun video, so make sure you stick around. Oh. This project is one of my favorites because it is nearly free. I had so many limbs and extra branches from my last DIY project with the tree inside. So we had a lot of extra branches hanging around. I had some that needed to be um, cut off the trees. So that is Cosmo helping out there. So I'm just gonna bring some of these limbs in and get the leaves off, but I want to keep the sticks or the little branches and limbs kind of all intact. This can get pretty messy, so I recommend doing it outside. I just like to do this inside for filming reasons, but yeah, it definitely helps to do this outside. Also, if you are worried about any type of bugs, you can also clear coat them with a matte spray and leave them out for a couple days. I never have any problems, but. So I'm also going to be using some really big tall branches for some height and some width as well. So I'm gonna clean up some of the bottom little twigs just so that I have like kind of a really long, um, I don't know what that is, like a, like a long piece that's just really clean. I think it looks a little bit messy if you have um, a lot of branches coming off of the bottom. So I try to clean up the bottom so it makes it look a little bit cleaner, if that makes sense. So this is the one thing that did cost me a little bit of money. Um, I found these little crows at Michael's and they were all 40% off, so they weren't that price that you see on there. But all in all, I think it was about $20 for all the little birds and I even had some left over as well. So you can also find them on Amazon. I will link a few options down below as well. These were the mini crows. Uh, from Michaels and I just thought they were super cute. They're just very fall-like but not too spooky. I'm not crazy about like super scary spooky in my house but um, yeah I thought these were really cute so I'm gonna add these just for a little something. So I ended up doing two like larger crows and then I think I did four small little mini crows. So once I have all my branches kind of cleaned up those uh, long stems on the bottom kind of cleaned up. I have a really tall glass vase. I love this vase. It's from Target years ago. Um, it's an old Studio McGee, but you can pretty much find these um, anywhere. I'll link some similar ones below. And I'm just gonna play around with these sticks and kind of intertwine them. And I like when they come out really wide, but they're still really tall. So I'm just gonna play around with them for a while until I get it how I like it. You can also see the variation in color. So I used about three different types of limbs from some different trees we have around the house and I actually like it. I think it adds just a little bit of variation in the color and adds a little bit of interest. So these little crows have little wires on the bottom so I'm just gonna spin those around the limbs and um, get them on there really good. Sometimes they'll flip upside down like that, so I gotta give them a good tightening. So some other options for branches, you can also use curly willow, that would be really cute. They have some faux branches at Hobby Lobby that I also saw in the curly willow. I just love this because it's free, it hardly costs me anything and I can throw it out when I'm done or save it for next year. You can also do a lower type centerpiece as well. It doesn't have to be so big and grand, but I kind of like that big grand look for, especially if you have tall ceilings. But uh, a lower one would also be cute with like one or two birds as well. So 
So this little DIY project was pretty popular last year. The terracotta jack-o'-lanterns from Pottery Barn. I don't think they are available this year anymore. They have kind of a different look this year. I believe they are in black. They have them on the website. I have a really similar method that I use that it is the dirt method. You could totally use on these pumpkins. I will link that video here if you wanted to try that. I'm gonna try something a little bit different with these. So I'm going to go to Michael's. I have also seen these little ceramic pumpkins at Walmart as well. I also saw some at Joann's just a little bit smaller. So for these pumpkins, I'm gonna use this Rust-Oleum chalked. It's super matte. It's in a charcoal color, so it's not really black, but it has definitely more mattified look. So I'm gonna just spray these down. One of these pumpkins, the one on the left, I found at Michael's, and then the one on the right has a little tea light type candle um, in there, a little battery candle. Um, I got that one at Joann's. So I'm just gonna give these a quick little spray. Uh, the spray paint did not bother the little light at all. So I just leave the insides white. You can't really tell. So once they are sprayed and dried, I let them dry for pretty much a day. You don't need that long, but I let them dry for about a day. Um, this is the Bare Wax Decorative Finish in white, and I'm gonna put this all over. You can put this on using a paintbrush, a sponge brush. I just use a rag. Just make sure that you dispose of it properly because this stuff is a little bit flammable which also is a little tip. You probably don't want to use like a real candle in these if you're putting them out in the porch. I would highly recommend um, not putting like flames around this type of stuff. So yeah, definitely the little battery tea lights would probably be a better option. So I'm going to rub this white um, wax in and it's just going to put that kind of white haze over them and I find that the more you layer it, I did about three layers from start to finish, the more layers the better it looks. And I try to go up and down motions and not side to side so I want to go kind of with those lines on the pumpkins and get them in those little grooves and in the eyes and around the smile. Um, and yeah, just get lots of layers on there. It's super easy. So I feel like this white chalk is kind of what makes that terracotta kind of chalky pottery type look. You could totally use this on the orange uh, spray paint or even like acrylic paint if you wanted to use that as well. I just like that really nice white haze. It gives that pottery type look and this is a really great way. I feel like using like the baking soda or those other methods, flour, you can maybe get some bugs or it won't last in the rain, but this is supposed to be weatherproof and last a lot longer. So I don't really have a designated spot for these yet, so I will wait to get my little fall porch to um, wait and get these out there, but they are super cute in the living room for now. Okay, so for this next DIY, I found this really cute little pumpkin silicone mold on Amazon. It was really inexpensive, so I wanted to try a couple really fun things with this. So I am using concrete for this project. I just use the really fast setting quickery and I strain out the rocks in the garage before I bring it in, but um, I can link some that does not have rocks from Amazon as well. I just use like an old little Tupperware container, mix a little bit of water, and then I can toss this out when I'm done so it does not make any type of mess at all. So I'm gonna mix this up to almost a thin milkshake type consistency. And this is my first time using this mold. So you guys are um, experimenting with me. So it was actually really easy. I filled one to those outer lines and then I filled one that stayed on the inside of the lines just cause I wasn't sure what type of look I was gonna get with either or. So I tried um, both ways and make sure that you tap out those bubbles. Some air bubbles are actually kind of cute. I don't mind little air bubbles here and there. So. Oh! <laughs> I didn't do it! You did? <laughs> I dented it, dang it! 
So I was not expecting that one to pop out at me like that. Uh, I did dent it, you can't even tell. But so this one, um, I filled it to the outer lines. It kind of did leave a little bit of like breakage. So I would recommend not overfilling it, but it still looked cute, you can hardly tell. So like I said before, this is the fast setting concrete. This was probably less than 30 minutes that I waited and the concrete was still a little bit soft. So you could just wait a little bit longer and it would be a little bit more set up, but I am super impatient, so I could not wait. So I am going to drill some little holes right in the top just to put a stick in there. You don't have to do this, but I wanted some sort of little stem in there. There's a lot of different things you could use. You could even use like jute string. You could even put a hole all the way through the center and string them kind of like a bead almost. Um, I have a similar video, I can link that here for you guys, but I'm just gonna put a little stem in there. You could also hot glue it, but it was pretty secure. It was in there really tight, so I just matched the stem uh, size with the drill bit size, so you kind of just have to adjust if your stems are different uh, widths. You could see my little dent from my handiwork right there, but I'll just turn it around and it's still super cute. So I love to have these all over the house. You can set them on a stack of books or by the sink, by some little soaps. You can even fill a little bowl, like some bowl filler. And I love that you can kind of customize them as well. You can change the color of concrete. Um, I'll link a couple options for you guys below, but these would also be really cute in white. Just a cute little accent that doesn't really cost much, but it makes a really cute little statement. Let me know in the comments if you decide to try any of these DIYs. Also, you can tag me on Instagram if you do try any of them. I always love sharing your guys' projects. I hope this video helped or inspired you in some sort of way. Be sure to follow along. I've got so much fall fun content coming and I can't wait to share it with you guys. So it's going to be a really fun season and I am glad you're here for it. So thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you next time.